Hi everyone, Harry Frank here from Red Giant. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Flickr Cut from Red Giant Universe 2.2. You'll find Flickr Cut inside the RG Universe Transitions category of your effects. I'll grab Flickr Cut and drop it on a cut point between two clips. And as I play through it, you'll see that it is a quick flickering transition between the outgoing A clip and the incoming B clip, as well as an additional solid color, in this case, black. Flickr Cut is one of those plugins that's a very simple concept, but there are lots of different things you can do with it. Now let's start with the fundamental idea, the pattern select. So up here, you can see that we've got things like CA and CB or BC. And what this means is that C is the color clip. A is the A clip. It will repeat this pattern, C to A, the number of times defined in cycles. So over the duration of this transition, this will go from C to A three times. C to A once, C to A twice, C to A the third time. Now, if I scrub for just a little bit, you'll see that it goes back to the C or color clip one last time. We wanted the flexibility to always end on that solid color. This is defined in the end behavior right here. So if we select solid color, it will always end on that solid color. If I remove that simply by selecting none, this will only go through that pattern and then go back to B. So this should now end on the A clip right here and then go back to B. So you can increase the number of cycles to make it go more quickly. You can also make the transition shorter to make it go quickly. But that really is just the start of what we can do with this. Let me drag this transition out. You might have noticed a couple other options in the end behavior there. One is to fade from that color. So this will play through the different patterns and then fade on that last color clip. We can also fade from white on the last segment. But I'll leave this set to solid color and we'll go into the effects section. So let's say I set this to the CA CB pattern and we'll make this two cycles. So this will repeat this pattern twice. And I'll go into the effects here and select fade clips. What this will do is fade out each A or B clip during its duration within the transition. Now we're getting to things that would actually be quite difficult to set up in either Premiere or After Effects or whatever host app you're using. Now this fade effect is actually not a real fade. It's not controlling opacity. It's actually controlling the overall gain or exposure. So if I take this fade exposure and turn this up to like 300, we'll actually get sort of a flashing effect. So this definitely is moving us along the sort of horror film kind of look. We can move even further into that horror look by inverting A or inverting B or even inverting both. In this case, I'll select invert A clip. And as it plays through this, every time it hits the A clip, it will invert the RGB of that clip. We also have the option to add some contrast to the clips as well as inject noise to the video as it plays through the transition. So there's lots of different combinations you can make in terms of having these fade, adjusting the fade exposure, inverting A or B or both, adding contrast and noise, as well as assembling a custom pattern that can be repeated any number of times that you'd like uh, using all the different options that you've got here. So we could also just do A, B and set this to three and this will cycle back and forth between A and B. Now in this case, we're actually using the solid color. If I set this to none, this will simply go back and forth between A and B. Now, you aren't limited to making horror movie style cuts. In this case, I've got a simple skateboarding clip here, and I'm going to split this right in the middle by using Command K in Premiere. And if I drop Flickr Cut on here, now we could do a, a simple cut like this where it flickers back and forth between black, which is perhaps useful. But in this case, I'm going to set this to A to B. Now I'm going to adjust the timing of that incoming B clip so they're not perfectly aligned. So I'm going to trim up this edit just a little bit to shift the timing of B. And as I play through this, we'll see this kind of jumps around and actually goes to that solid color. So let's set this to none. And I'm going to drag the duration out just a little bit. So we get that sort of split timing kind of effect going on with these. You could still go in and add some contrast or noise to these, or even invert one of the clips if you'd like. 
I find this a fun plugin to play with. There's lots of combinations you can come up with as you play with the different settings. Now, as with many of our transitions, you can always start at the very top with the Browse Presets button. When you click on this, it will bring up the preset browser. For Flickr Cut, this will give you access to a wide variety of transition patterns that you can select simply by double clicking. So that is Flickr Cut from Red Giant Universe 2.2. My name's Harry Frank for Red Giant. We'll see you next time.